Welcome to YouTube's Excel Lookup Function Series number nine. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Hey, we're going to talk about the index function. We're going to see that there are two uses. We're actually going to look at the index function five different times. First, we're going to look at the two uses. And don't forget, I always put notes. So in rows above our example, I always have notes. Uh, the index does two things. Uh, the first one is it can look up uh, something in a row and a column, whereas VLOOKUP just looks something in a column. We know how to put column index 2, and it will find, return something from a column 2. But index allows us to say what row and what column, and then we'll find out the intersection. The second thing that the index does is you can not, not only look up a row and a column, but you can have more than one table. And in a, uh, two examples we have, we'll see how to, the index can actually choose amongst different tables. All right, so let's start with our simple one right here. And I want to see if I can blow this up. We have allowances and income. And I need to make this as big as possible because it barely fits on our screen. There we go. And we're going to find a tax using the index function. All right, you ready? Equals index. And there's two versions. The second one down here, um, we'll look at area number. That will be our second example. But here, we just have an array. And then we need to know what row and what column. Now, I've already put the rows and columns here. So if we want to look up 250, we need to go 1, 2, 3. It's got to be the third. And the allowance is going to be 1, 2, 3. So that's got to be the third also. Later, we'll see how to mix the index and the match function together. But let's, let's look at a simple example to get the idea of index. Here's the array. And then comma. What's the row number? 3, comma. What's the column number? 3. Close parentheses, control, $6. enter. And it looks like 6 bucks right here. So that's the third column. And 1, 2, 3, that's the third row. Let's see if we were to change this to 500. 500. That would be, Excel's talking to me again. i got to turn that off. 500. There it is, 500. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is 1, 2, 3. So the intersection of 6 and 3, 6 row, third column is 9 bucks. All right, so that's the basics of index. In our next uh, functions, uh, index function, lookup function series, we'll see how to use the index with an area so we can look up different tables. All right, see you next one.